All right, yeah, so uh, these are yeah, some uh, properties that some of them we already covered earlier of uh, vectors and some uh, basically we'll yeah, go over in a bit. So basically if A, B, and C are vectors in a VN, so the set of all n-dimensional vectors, and C and D are scalars, then you'll have these properties. So uh, property one is A plus B equals B plus A, so we've already covered that. Uh, and then uh, this one here is A plus uh, B plus C is equal to A plus B, and then plus C, so you, the order doesn't matter. And then you'll have A plus zero is just A, because this is a zero vector there. And then A plus negative A equals to zero, so you're adding the negative of it, and this goes back to itself. And then C, is this is the uh, part, I mean, uh, property five, is scalar C times the vectors A plus B is equal to, and you can multiply this scalar inside, so CA plus CB. And uh, likewise, we have C plus D scalars times by A. You can multiply the vector inside. So you'll have C A times, I know, plus D times uh, vector A. And uh, likewise, we have C times D uh, uh, times by, uh, C D times the vector A. You could, you, could, uh, you could take out a scalar. So you could take out C or you can take out D. And then you'll have it C, for example, times D times A. So the order doesn't matter there. And also one, a scalar of one times a, the vector, is just equal to a itself. And uh, now, yeah, these uh, eight properties of vectors can be readily verified either geometrically or algebraically. For instance, property one, this one here, a plus b equals to b plus a, so you can just switch the order, can be seen from the earlier figure for the parallelogram or as follows for the case n equals two. Well, let's just go up to the parallelogram, uh, the uh, parallelogram rule first. All right, here, yeah, I just uh, teleported above here. So uh, here's parallelo uh, parallelogram law. And again, you can see here, so if you go u plus v, you get this u plus v, or you can go v plus u, you get the exact same thing. So v plus u, it's the same vector there. So now if we do this algebraically, let's just uh, uh, also verify it here. Scroll down here, and we should be here. All right, there we are. All right, so let's write this out. So for the case n equals 2, so if we have the vectors a plus b so again try to uh, match this here and we got to get to make it equal to b plus a well in components form this equals to a1 a2 plus and then this is going to be b1 b2 and uh and then we've already defined that uh, vector addition you could add the components so this is going to be a1 plus b1 and then this is going to be a2 plus b2. And now what we could do is, well, we could just move these around. When you're adding real numbers, you can go back and forth. We could just switch these around. So this equals 2 b1 plus a1. And the next one is b2 plus a2. And this just equals 2. And now we could, uh, well, uh, take out these components. Because uh, so vector addition is just adding the components. So in other words, this we can get a uh, yeah just separate out into the uh, earlier components. This is going to be yeah it's going to be actually first. This is a comma, not a uh, other bracket. So we have this. Yes, yeah, so b1 plus a1, and then b2 plus a2. Yeah. So and now we get to uh, separate these uh, back into how we started over here into two vectors. So this is going to be just b1. Uh, yeah, b1. And, and then b2, so b1, b2, so we just switch the order, and this is gonna be plus, and uh, this is gonna be now the next one, a1, a2, like that. Yeah, so now when, yeah, basically we first went from this part right here, and then added the components, and then we switched the components, and we went s separated back over to this side, but we get, we have the b in front now, because this, we uh, switched these around, and now write these in the vectors, in the vector form, this just equals two. Uh, b with the arrow, just a b vector plus a vector. So yes, this is just uh, verified. So a plus b uh, vectors equals to b plus a, like that. Go a there, and circle this. All right, and now the next property we could uh, take a look at is uh, property two. So we can see why property two, the associate, uh, associative law, or the associative law, you can see that right here, so a plus, uh, and then bracket b plus c is equal to a plus b, when you do this first in the bracket, plus c, like that. And as an associative, you could just basically associate either or, so you could associate a plus b in this one, or b plus c here first, and then add to the 
other term or other vector. So we could see why the property to the associative, associative law is true by looking at the figure below and applying the triangle law several times. And basically, uh, he'll read this first, and then I'll draw it out. So the vector PQ is obtained either by first constructing A plus B, and then adding C or by adding A to the vector B plus C. So do that either or. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's do this one here. Let's say we have a point here, we'll call this P. And uh, let's say we have uh, the point Q over here. So we want to get over to this PQ vector. So that's the PQ vector. And we want to construct that in uh, two ways. Well, let's go to the first one. Let's say you have, uh, let's say you have A, the A is this. So that's A. And then let's say you have right here, B. So A, A B goes over there, or even uh, better, I'll just make it a bit shorter. So let's say this is B. So that's B. So this means then this is A plus B. So we have A plus B, I'll put a bracket just so we can uh, understand that which ones we're doing first. So let's say we have A plus B, is this uh, just using triangle law, just add them up like that. All right, here, just fix that up. So we have A plus B there. And in other words, we have this right here. So we have A plus B. Uh, yeah, put that bracket again. Uh, again. All right, so we have the bracket there. And then, and then we're going to add C now. So C would be, well, we need to get to, to Q. So C is going to be, let's say there's a vector here. Now we're going to apply the uh, triangle law again. This is going to be C. So in other words, yes, C like that. Yeah, so in other words, E, Q is equal to, uh, we're going to have A plus B, put a bracket, and then plus uh, C, like that. Because yeah, we have this A plus B plus C, and then that's just this PQ. Or, or, yeah, or what we could do is, well, let's move this over, uh, over so we're going to draw it through it. So let's say this is, yeah, I'll just make, make this here. So this is going to be our A plus B. So we could do it that way, or yeah, or instead, instead of that, what we could do is we can start off at A here. So A plus, and then, well, this one right here. So if we go B plus C is gonna be this right here. So this, put this in red. Um, yeah, this is gonna be our B plus C. So just using triangle law. So we go here, there to the tip. So that's B plus C, or uh, yeah, I could probably just write it here actually. B plus C, like that. Yeah, so we have B plus C there, so erase this part here. So now what we have is, well, we have this B plus C there, and and uh, this goes to Q, so we could just start off with, well, A plus this vector, B plus C, and we end up over to here, which is our exact setup. So we're gonna have that, or, uh, let's put this in red, actually, equals to A, yeah, we'll still have this PQ, just like that. So it's the same thing. PQ is either A plus B uh, plus C, or just erase this, it's the same thing, equals to A. So we're going to construct this triangle law A plus this bracket there, B plus C. So there's the associative law or property 2. And uh, yeah, now we just box these in. So this one or box this in. And uh, yeah, that's property two, so that matches exactly here. So A plus bracket B plus C, or A plus B plus C. Uh, it's both equal to each other. Yeah, so uh, yeah, those are these properties, properties one and two, and the other ones are pretty straightforward. Here it is adding a zero vector, this is a negative one, we already went over that, this is multiplying C inside, uh, just the constants inside, and you can multiply, uh, if you have constants added, you could, you could separate that um, and just, add the uh, multiply the ve vector inside each one and add them up and so on these ones are all pretty straightforward even this uh, especially this one times a that's just a 